If you've never driven a zero turn before, it can be a little intimidating. Believe me, I know. This is my brand new 2020 time cutter that Toro was kind enough to give me to do a review. And when I first got this, it was my very first time driving any zero turn mower. And still, I don't even have half of an hour on this machine. So I'm mowing in the turtle, turtle power mode, and that keeps me going slow and it lets me learn along the way. Now I've driven a lot of things growing up. I had three wheeler, four wheelers, I have a tractor with a front end loader. So I'm pretty comfortable driving just about anything, vehicles and machines. But like I said, first time driving a zero turn, I was a little intimidated. I had to pull it out of the trailer, which was only six feet wide, and this has a 60 inch deck. So there wasn't much room for error as I pulled out and down the ramp of the trailer. Let me go over a couple tips that I've been using to help me drive this zero turn for the first, second, and third time. First of all, if you haven't watched my overview video, I'll put a link up above for that. That's when I very first got this mower and I did a walk around of the machine talking about the features that I was looking forward to using. And I mentioned in that video that I didn't think I'd be using the smart speed control system very much, but I was really wrong. I am so glad to have the turtle speed to learn on as I begin learning how to drive and mow with this zero turn mower. I'd call that tip number one. Get a machine that has the ability to adjust the speed. Now I don't know if there's other brands like Toro that allow you to do that, but I certainly recommend it. Tip number two, hearing protection. Now I know that doesn't have anything to do with driving the zero turn for the first, second, or third time, but it's certainly beneficial. The engine's right behind your head, there's that constant noise, you just always wanna protect your hearing. I'm not actually gonna be starting the machine now, so I'm gonna set these aside. You don't have to be worried about this moving somewhere when the levers are out. That engages the parking brake. And even when it's started, the parking brake is always engaged when these are out. Once you pull them in, when the power is on, when the key is turned on, you hear that it disengages that parking brake. And when it's running, that means you have the potential to move. You pull these in to start driving, and it seems pretty simple, right? You push forward to go forward. You pull backwards to go backward. If you wanna make a right hand turn, your left hand has to be forward more than your right hand. It all seems pretty simple. But in actuality, when you're driving, there's a lot of movement going on. If the ground's not exactly level, the front end wanders downhill a little ways. So you've gotta adjust just slightly giving that side more power so that it maintains your straight line. And that's the thing I've been working on and practicing in the lawn, is practicing even without mowing, practicing making those straight lines so that when I do mow, my lines aren't all over the place. For some reason, there's a natural thing in your brain that tells you when you're going a little bit too far left to pull back, at least in my brain. Like, oh, I'm going that, that way too fast, pull back. Well, that's the opposite thing you want to do because when you pull back, you're slowing down your left-hand side wheel and that's making you turn even more left. So that's been my biggest hang-up with learning to drive the zero turn. For some reason, my brain tells me to pull back when I should actually be pushing forward a little more. But it doesn't take long. With only 0.3 hours on this machine so far, I've really learned how to maneuver. I've learned how to make my turns, how to make my turn so that I'm not scalping the ground with the inside wheel when I'm turning. It started storming and raining outside, so I had to quickly pull the zero turn here into the garage, and we'll continue the tip video here. As I was driving over here, I thought, I think I said tip two twice, so let's just review. Tip number one, a machine that has an adjustable speed beyond just the adjustment in your arms. Tip number two, hearing protection. Tip number three, how to not scuff the yard when you're doing those sharp turns. So I followed a couple people online on YouTube and read a couple blogs about how the professional landscapers turn on their zero turns. And what they recommend and what I've been trying to learn to do is you're making those turns between rows, let's say it's a sharp left hand turn, of course you're pushing your right hand forward to speed up that outside wheel, but instead of just letting your inside wheel stop and scuff along the ground, 
actually pull back a little bit, that'll make this left hand wheel go in reverse. So instead of scuffing, you're now backing up. It'll keep you from scuffing the yard and it'll make your turn a little sharper. Tip number four, start on a level surface. It's a lot easier to learn to drive this in the flat section of my lawn. Now if I go up into the grove where there's just a little bit of a slope or along the edge of the driveway where there's, where there's a little bit of a slope or out back where there's a, a little bit steeper slope, it's much more difficult to keep this going in a straight line. And while it is good to learn to practice how to maintain a straight line on that slope, when you're very first getting started and if you're feeling a little bit intimidated, start on a flat, smooth surface. And tip number five, the most important, take your time. There is no hurry, there is no reason to get out there and start mowing right away at seven miles an hour or faster. Take your time, enjoy your time on the machine, get comfortable with it, and learn what this machine can do for you. Uh, like I said, I'll mow the fir first few times in the slow mode, and then I'll probably work it up to the middle mode, and then to the fast mode. But certainly, I'm gonna take my time learning how to ride this machine safely and properly, and make the best use of this piece of equipment to mow my lawn and the properties that we mow. Thanks for tuning in. I'd appreciate if you'd click that subscribe button. I also didn't know until we had our own channel that clicking the like button really does help. It promotes our video when people are looking for videos like this about a certain topic. So please subscribe, like, tell your friends, and make sure you remind people about our subscriber giveaway where once we reach 250, 500, and 1,000 subscribers, we'll be giving away those prizes. There'll be information about that down below in the description. Thanks again, and thanks for your support.